been flying. Titanic was an Oscar-winning blockbuster. It's definitely the biggest movie I ever worked on. And the movie's modern day scenes were filmed in Dartmouth, Nova Scotia. Artist Marilyn McAvoy was there. That's her on the left. I'll be goddamned. The film is now well known for its emotionally explosive set and ballooning budget. But an incident in August of 1996 may not ring as familiar. That's when 80 crew members, McAvoy included, unknowingly ate drug-tainted lobster chowder on set. You know, it was kind of like very dreamy, very surreal. I was still functioning. I wasn't, you know, nauseous or anything like that. But it seemed like it affected people in many, many different ways. This is me and this is Jim Cameron. It took hours to triage and treat everyone at the ER, an experience star Bill Paxton would describe years later. You see some people are freaking out, some people are Congo dancing, some people are, are euphoric. I, I knew I was pretty stoned on something pretty bad. And I everyone recovered. Nova Scotia health officials determined the chowder contained PCP or angel dust, a hallucinogenic drug. Police investigated, but no one was ever charged. Now more details are being revealed in an incident report released Monday by Halifax Police following a ruling from the Provincial Privacy Commissioner. But there are no names and no clear culprit. According to the document, one witness told police a food services worker, quote, removed from the set for selling drugs a few days prior, could be a suspect. Officers couldn't confirm the worker's identity. Police also uncovered rumors the incident may have provided a reason to continue shooting for an additional week with funding coming from an insurance claim. But the investigator writes none of this can be substantiated, adding, imagine the tabloid headlines. Like many things that happened on that movie, I think it's just kind of become this kind of, you know, lore. But unlike the dramatic, now iconic ending to Titanic, it seems this story will remain without its Hollywood ending. Heidi Petrachek, Global News. Halifax.